Of course you know the Super Bowl is happening this weekend, but you may not yet know what you're going to eat during the big game. Here with some delicious Super Bowl dishes is celebrity chef Tim Love, who's appeared on the Food Network's Iron Chef America, as well as Bravo's Top Chef Masters. Welcome, Chef Love. It's great Thank to you. have you here. Yeah, Thanks happy to be for here. coming. Thank you. So what is the first thing you keep in mind when you're throwing a Super Bowl party? Uh, I think the first thing you keep in mind is simplicity. Okay. So, you know, when you invite people over to your home, a lot of times you get very nervous and you want to do all these extra special things, and that's really the number one mistake. So keep try to simple. make some things that are simple. Uh, they look good on the table. They're easy to eat. Always things to keep in mind because if you try to do something complicated, A, you're going to stress yourself out. It means you can't have any fun. And to me, it's all about having fun when you're cooking. It's so, all about having fun. Where are you watching the Super Bowl, by the way? I'm going to watch it at my house. Oh, great. Yeah. So you're going to be relaxed and, and having Very fun. Very much so. I hang out with my kids, place a few bets. Sounds you know, good. Hopefully win some money. Sounds you know. good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what is the first thing you have for us here? It's a so I'm going to make a really simple French onion dip. Mm, we got a little delicious. bit of a twist on it. So I'm going to show you. We've got an onion here that's been halved. And a lot of people wonder like how you dice onions very easily. So I was going to show you. So we cut it in half and peeled it. Gotcha. And you take the onion, you're going to simply Make a few cuts in it like this, mm -hmm. horizontally. Okay. And then we're going to turn the onion sideways and come back and make cuts like this. Oh, look at that. And what we've done is set it up to make really nice, easily diced onion. Because you want them to all be sort of uniform, right? Yeah. yeah. And the reason for that is, as we come back across, you can see it like this. Yeah. So we end up with the raw onion just like we have in the bowl here. The reason for that is because when you cook the onion, if it's in large and different sized pieces, then it cooks at different times. Right. And, and you a don't... large piece of onion cooks slower than a small piece of onion. That's always my problem. My onions never look like that, but now I know why. <laughs> so, <laughs> put a little bit of canola in the pan, get it warm, not mm -hmm. real hot, add the onions and slowly cook them. And you end up with some caramelized onions that look like this. Beautiful. Right. Beautiful. So we'll add them in here, just like so. And then we'll add a little bit of white pepper and garlic powder. Ooh, okay. White pepper and garlic powder. Yeah, now everybody likes French onion dip, right? Yeah. I mean, especially if you add it with some vegetables, a nice little wholesome uh, snack for during the Super Bowl. So I add a little bit of sour cream here, mm -hmm. just like so. And plus, this is something you can make with your kids. How, uh, mu do you, how much sour cream do you recommend? Sort of what's the like ratio? It's half and half. Half, half and half. sour cream. And now I've, adding, I've got a little... Um, uh, Hellman's organic. They just came out with some organic, so they make you know, wholesome choices. Yeah, here. right. Yeah, that's it's right. New Year. That's right. It's, it's still right, close so. to January. And they make a chipotle <laughs> version, which I like. So uh, it has a little bit of spicy and smoky mm. to it, just like this. That looks amazing. So we mix all this up, mm. and really, I mean, it's it's ten minutes, you know. That's incredible. Look at that. So look at it. it. Comes out nice, and then we spread it out with a bunch of vegetables. So we take both sides of it, right? And you can actually smell the garlic mm. coming out of that from cooking the onions and everything. That looks yeah. so good. And there you have it. Right. Put it just like this. So what do you like, celery or carrots? I like celery. Celery. Yeah. There you go. Let's right. try it. Let's try it. Mmm. Thank you. Now, mm. another option. Delicious. Love it. Mmm. It's like magic. So <laughs> it was like magic. Making miracles over here. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next, uh, one of my favorite foods right now, and really it's like a superfood, is cauliflower. People are going crazy over cauliflower. I've always liked it. I grew it since I was a kid. This is a great, great option for Super Bowl. It's very vegan friendly, which is awesome. Yeah. So you don't see that very often at Super Bowl parties. It also looks healthy. Is this healthy? That's right. What it, we're about to make? I mean, cause yes, it is pretty good. It's very, very. You know, like, you know, the thing about cauliflower is, like, you when you eat it, it tastes healthy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it you just feel does. healthy. Yeah. <laughs> so then we add in a little olive oil here, okay, gotcha. like this, some salt and pepper, very much just like that, and oh, pretty good. liberally. Like Why don't you toss that together Yeah, that quick. looks good. I would just, can I toss with this? I would, yeah. I would eat it raw so, like That's this. right. So what you do, really so people like raw cauliflower because they like the crunch of it. Mm, yeah. So if we take it and put it on a pan and roast it. Very high heat for about 30 minutes. You get these nice, crunchy edges. Oh, those are now, that, beautiful. This is servable just like it is right here. But we're going to take it one step further because that's what I do. <laughs> so then we take the cauliflower that's already been roasted and we take some skewers and we have them soaked. You soak the skewers because when you put them on a grill, you don't want them to catch on fire. So they're just soaked in water. Soak them in water. Okay, if right. you want to get real inventive, you can soak them in, you know, tequila or something. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good, actually. I may or may not do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I don't just want saying. to. Just Yeah, some people do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that then we, we, we skewer it up like this, and now we're going to make a cool little sauce for it. So remember, we're trying to keep this vegan friendly, right? right? So I use a little uh, Hellman's Carefully Crafted right here, which is like mm -hmm. a, a new spread they just came out with that's eggless. Nice. And some your favorite hot sauce, whichever it may be. Choose whatever one you want. Oh, we love hot and sauce. That's right. And then mix in some blue cheese, like this, and then we're going to mix that together, and this is where it gets really cool because I love 
So when they come off the grill, or pardon me, right before you put them on the grill, you're gonna paint them. That looks Like yummy. this, yeah. And then you throw them on the grill and it gets a little color on the blue cheese Ooh, and the hot sauce. Ooh, that looks so and good. And then you become a gangster and you put them like this. Oh my there. God, you've got a centerpiece. That looks like, see what I mean? That looks so good. Can I try yeah, one? Yeah, try one. Oh, that looks amazing. Wow. So, mm. Whether you're entertaining at home mm. or you're doing it for the big game, doesn't really matter, but isn't this good? Oh my God, this is <laughs> good. I love this. So, what do you serve to drink? Do you like wine, beer? What do you serve for a Super Bowl? I, I, I'm a wine drinker mm -hmm. and cocktail. Excuse me, cocktail drinker. So you could so, do that with any of the. Yeah, but it goes with beer too. Right. So much fun, That's Chef right. Tim Love. Thank you so My much. Pleasure. Thank you. And happy Super Bowl watching. <laughs>